Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Flashback to an October 2016 uh, conference call with Paul Ryan. This is audio uh, um, of Paul Ryan speaking to House Republicans. And he says, quote, I am not going to defend Trump, not now, not in the future. Now, Trump announced Friday in a press conference that he will sign the Pelosi-Ryan Uniparty um, monstrosity of a spending bill. Now, as we know at this point, the bill does fund all the Democratic uh, pet projects, but yet spends less than 0.1% on border security barriers and doesn't even include a wall. Now, the Ryan Omnibus Plan will also double as an H-2B visas in the United States, so it will double the H-2B visas as well. Now, this goes against Trump's MAGA agenda. Now, we shouldn't be surprised now. Paul Ryan never set out to support Trump's agenda. Uh, audio of Paul Ryan speaking on a conference call to House Republicans saying he would never defend Trump emerged almost a year ago to this date. Now, back in October of 2016, a conference called Paul Ryan told his fellow members of the U.S. House of Representatives that he was abandoning the GOP presidential nominee, Donald Trump, forever. Sponsor call uh, Donald Trump. Um, I obviously stand by that statement. His comments are not anywhere in keeping with our party's principles and values. Uh, there are basically two things that I want to make really clear. Um, as for myself as your speaker, I am not going to defend Donald Trump. Not now, not in the future. Um, as you probably heard, I just invited him from my first congressional district uh, GOP event this weekend, a thing I do every year, and I'm not going to be campaigning with him over the next 30 days. Um, look, you guys know I have real concerns with our nominee. Um, I hope you appreciate that um, I'm doing what I think is best for you, the members, not what's best for me. And so I want to do what's best for our members, and I think uh, that this is the right thing to do. I'm going to focus my time on, on campaigning for House Republicans. I've talked with a bunch of you over the last 72 hours, and here is basically my takeaway. Uh, to everyone on this call, this is going to be a turbulent month. Uh, many of you on this call are facing tough re-elections. Some of you are not. Um, but with respect to Donald Trump, I would encourage you to do what you think is best and do what you feel you need to do. Personally, you need to decide what's best for you. Um, and you all know what's best for you where you are. Um, but the last thing I want to do is to help Hillary Clinton get the presidency and get Congress. Look, she's a failed progressive. She's running an abysmal campaign. I mean, it's just, it's amazing how, how easily she could be beaten. Um, and she will take this country in the wrong direction. And the last thing we need is, is, is you know, four more years of Obama policies or two years of, of a Clinton presidency with a Democrat Congress. Could you imagine what that would look like? Um, so the last thing we want to be doing is giving Hillary Clinton a blank check in Congress. Uh, that's why I'm going to spend the rest of this month fighting for Congress, fighting for our majorities. I'm going to spend the next 28 days working hard with all of our members to get reelected because we need, we need a check on Hillary Clinton. If Donald Trump and Mike Pence don't win the presidency, uh, Greg Walden will get more into what that looks like and what polling looks like. But I want to basically close with this. Um, his comments are indefensible. They're not in keeping with our principles. So I'm not going to try to defend him. Um, and I'm going to focus on Congress. I'm going to focus on upholding our values. We have uh, a great, great policy agenda, a better way that we need to take to voters and show um, what our party actually stands for and what it stood for for generations. Um, so there you have it. That was the audio uh, of the uh, conference call back in October of 2016 with Paul Ryan. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. Better than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.